Yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. I mean, uh, you know, coming into this, it was all about the process, just trying to do what you need to do to get that medal. Um, I was actually halfway through that race and I could just feel the crowd roaring. And it was uh, something I've never experienced before. And I think that's why they say home crowd advantage is so special because you really feel like they're there behind you, supporting you. And that really helped me to step on and, and, and win that medal. Yeah, I mean, this is... So eight years ago, I came to this meet in Glasgow as a 19-year-old and I kind of walked into a gold medal. And obviously, you know, I worked hard for it, but I didn't know what I achieved. Four years later, you know, I was expecting to go on with gold, but got disqualified and felt like I had that opportunity taken away from me. And I said to myself back then, like, I will be here in four years' time to retain this title. And that pressure has been on my shoulders for the last four years since I made that statement. So to be able to come here and, and do the race when it matters is something I'm really happy with and really proud of. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it gives you confidence when you, when you swim well. And uh, to be able to know that I've got two days to rest and then come back in and do the process again. You know, there's still a lot to, work, lot to do. There's a lot of guys here who are on form. And I'm looking forward to it a lot because freestyle is one that I've really worked for. I've always said to fly is my passionate event and freestyle is my job. Uh, so I've done what I, what I love and I'm about to do what I work for. Oh, absolutely fantastic. It's a dream come true to, to get this far and do it on home turf is, is brilliant. Yeah, and uh, the best self performing that's the time. Yeah, personal best, I'll take that. I showed him a good four years ago, and you know, post COVID, not being able to train, to go and produce a time like that, I'm absolutely tough to bits. You know, absolutely thrilled. I came in fourth, so I had pretty, pretty big level of uncertainty of where it was going to happen. It was a, I knew it was going to be close, I knew I had, had room to drop from my entry time, and I, I just wanted to be as close to those boys as possible. The next, I said it was coming in, it was going to take a 24-3 to win it and I was right but I was just on the wrong side of that one but uh, you know absolutely thrilled and absolutely buzzing for Nick as well I've, I know he struggled with a couple of injuries this year and it's great to see him uh, get some success there as well I'm really really pleased for him <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's becoming a little bit of a curse for me to get touched out by small margins uh, <laughs> um, yeah I'm not even just I'm not even upset to be honest you know like I said I had no expectation to, to win it I, I thought I had the capability to win but you know, Nick had a phenomenal performance, and no, I'm just really, really stoked with him. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. This morning, that was my third swim this year. This is my fourth. <laughs> so the front end feels a bit more rusty than it normally does in the championship. But you know what? I realise when uh, Archie obviously stumbled on the block, it's like it ain't about the time, it ain't about that. It's about enjoying the crowd, giving the crowd a show, bringing each other up with you. And uh, for me, I don't give a shit what time we go. I just want to race and win, hopefully. More of a show tomorrow night then? Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know, you don't know, you don't know. I mean, four weeks into my program, really, I didn't do a full breaststroke, breaststroke for, you know, for the last, well, about six weeks out of the ten weeks I broke my foot. So, I'm still learning, um, still got a long way to come, um, but we're hopefully going to find out over the next 24 hours. Me being a, a final swimmer and a champion swimmer in, in them, hopefully I can step it up. Maybe it's a 15 five, maybe it's a something like that, but, you know, it's going to be a good race tomorrow. Very good. I couldn't see him. Uh, I think they're right at the back, but expensive tickets are right at the back, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> the, um, yeah, I mean, but at the same time, for me, George is making memories, and um, tomorrow, that's when it counts for me. I mean, there was a few times when my foot was still hurting. It hurts a tiny bit now and then, but the, there's those times where you're like, okay, most of my training has been on the bike, most of my training has been on land, bloody kayaking, for, for example, for my arm stuff. So I'm like, I've took myself completely out of what I've made myself comfortable with, which is swimming and a little bit of gym in, in the gym. So when you take the swimming away, you're like, oh, am I still going to be the best? Am I still going to be the best swimmer in the world? And even though I felt really good on, on all my other stuff, I was like, hold on a minute, you've still got to earn that right to be the best swimmer in the world. It's what I'm just given. So now I'm just finding my way back. And my way that takes another year, it's another two. You know, Paris is always in the in the goal, and that is the pinnacle of the sport, as we all know. So, this is about the rebuild now, and how I can potentially approach that 56 from a very different angle.